dipole induced dipole forces the third type of van der waals forces we are going to discuss the third type of van der waals force is dipole induced dipole the name itself says dipole that means you should have a permanent polarity in the molecule so it belongs to a polar molecule whereas induced dipole forces induced dipole is the property which will be related to a non polar molecule so this comes to a non polar molecule if you take a polar molecule and non polar molecules this is between the polar and non polar molecules the existing intermolecular force so the type of intermolecular force exists between a polar molecule and a non polar molecule is dipole induced dipole forces so the permanent dipole will induce polarity in non polar molecules meaning you already have a molecule which is having a positive and negative and it is coming closer to a symmetrical molecule now this will starts to induce the polarity this will starts to induce the polarity so that it slowly starts to develop positive and this will be electrons will starts to move this side and slowly develops a negative charge so the polarity will be induced by a permanent dipole onto a symmetrical molecule which is non polar and so therefore the developed intermolecular force the magnitude of attractive forces lies in between to that of dispersion forces which are also called london dispersion forces and dipole dipole forces why this is simple if you are comparing with a non polar molecule a non polar molecule is two symmetrical molecules when two symmetrical molecules are approaching one should induce polarity momentarily into it and there it should affect the polarity on the other molecule first one should momentarily get induced polarity and the other one then gets affected but here you can see it is already a polar molecule inducing polarity onto this here you can see directly the polarity is developing the attractive force so this is the stronger attractive forces the stronger attractive forces between a dipole and dipole so these are called dipole dipole forces whereas here polarity is induced and so that the molecule is now getting polarity of positive and negative charge and therefore there the attractive forces develop between them and that is dipole and induced dipole forces so these are taken as dipole induced dipole forces induced dipole forces where this is considered in this case first one gets polarity that means in this case one gets induced polarity of positive and negative and this will affect the other molecule to get polarity induced over here so the forces are weaker forces these are dispersion forces so when you take the three cases into example what is the example i can take in this particular one i can take an example of such type of things ki if i am taking this particular one example of this particular one or uh, let us go with another example ki is an ionic k plus and i minus let us say hcl hcl if i am taking this particular hcl with cl2 hcl plus cl2 this is the case cl2 plus cl2 this is another case hcl plus hcl this is the third case if i am taking the two molecules what is there in this case what is there in this case what is there you see hcl is a polar molecule h cl delta plus delta minus cl2 you will have cl bond cl this is symmetrical where here you can say this is symmetrical and this is symmetrical cl cl in this case it is hcl you have hcl a polarity developed here and hcl a polarity developed here delta plus delta minus this is permanent so the difference in these two you can see the polarity already developed the forces still there is no force developed here here you can see there is inducing the polarity that is already happening on this the polarity is being induced on this now this gets induced polarity much faster than this and it is already polar so they are attractive forces in this so the forces will lie in this way the forces in hcl are greater than forces in hcl with hcl with cl2 greater than the forces between cl2 and cl2 so if you take two hcl molecules 
the forces of attraction present in two hcl molecules are greater than the forces which are present in hcl and cl2 than the forces which are present in cl2 and cl2 this concludes this can be liquefied much easier than this case than this case so when you say the liquefaction of those particular one or the interaction of those particular one follows the same order